in this section, I'm going to introduce Grotis product, solution, and architecture. Grotis, we're working in the uh, HPC area for more than 10 years. Grotis is an print HPC solution provider. We combine the uh, HPC and cloud architecture all together. Then we, want, we also enhance the cloud architecture with the high performance feature. We also built a uh, Grotis cloud platform on the top. So this platform is going to provide HPC, cloud services, and AI machine learning applications. This platform is going to bring the benefit to our customer with the simplified their workflow and increase all the productivities. And also, we want them to uh, save the effort and time. They can focus on their innovation value work. And this is our gratis platform name and logo. The first one question will be why gratis? That's a good question. We are great team to build up the infrastructure from scratch and button up all the way to the services. The benefit will be when we run into the problem, we are very easy to identify, narrow down the scope and find the root cost. Next one, I'm going to introduce about how, what's our architecture. Let's look at from the button, it's infrastructure. Like I mentioned before, we have a HPG cluster, we have a virtual virtualization management, such as OpenStack, OpenShift, or Kubernetes. And the other side is the storage. I will mention that later on. Let's go up to the up layer. Up layer it's uh, all services. The IT services from the name, you probably know, is ready for the IT environment. Not only CPU or memory or disk, we also can uh, load the current module or toolkit ready for the environment. And second one will be the CDW as a services. It's called, stand for Cloud Data Warehouse as a services. Actually, it is the storage services. In IT, we, before we only know about the disk or remote hard drive to be, to be mount. However, when the content management, they print all the different type of the files, such as document, video, streaming, or photo. So we have to support different types of the file. So in this, the CDW services, we build based on the software-defined storage. We based on the safe technology. That's why we can offer object file system and the bus device. However, our platform is going to support high-end computing. So we also include the high throughput and low latency file system, such as BGFS and Luster. Okay, so next two, I'm going to about talk, talking about the all the end of user services. First one will be the precision healthcare. This is our major portfolio, and first module will be the genomic analytic as the services. We call the GA as the services. In this, the services, we're ready for all the GPU computing environment. Then we have a, the storage pool to accommodate all the, the model and raw data. And we include also the NGS workflow, stand for new generation stored sequence. And we're also ready for each toolkit in the each step in the pipeline. We want all the uh, as domain experts, they can jump, jump into the environment, start their work. They don't need to worry about how to build up those complicated behind. And second one will be the automatic analysis. We're ready for like a container environment. And we're ready for the storage to accommodate all the weather model. We include the WRF, weather research and for, forecast model. We want the weather expert. They can submit a job and can create a job. And also they can download the result to do a further process. Like they can generate the nice weather map. 
Okay, so let's go back to the platform layer. Most of our application or services, we focus on how they can use the model to predict the something. So we want to make sure only the model can do the very good performance. That's why we include the machine learning operation. We want to manage all the model, their life cycle. And the other one is IT, AI of services. We work on any AI-based application. They can hook up our high-performance architecture. They can have their services running on the top. So overall, we, we can see from the bottom of the top, this platform is perfect for large-scale computing environment and data-intensive application. From this 2D diagram, I'm going to describe all the black color as all low resources. And the middle layer looks like a very complicated environment. It's our, our strength to build up this environment for, for the user. The user only use the platform, they can access all the resources and do their services and do their job. From the storage side, we use the service to access that. Okay, so as I mentioned, IT as service is a part of our service services. The HPC is major for the uh, is a major part of our IT services. Let's look at but the this diagram. For the first module, you will see that uh, traditional bare metal HPC resources. We have a slung workload manager running on the top and dispatch all the job across all the cluster. And the second one, you will see that uh, virtual machine. Why we have a virtual machine uh, running on uh, uh, HPC on top? The reason is most the small and two small and medium business, they are not able to have good enough the resources to build up this kind of the environment. So use the virtual machine, they can share the physical resources and they can experience HPC computing. The last one will be the uh, container base. HPC also can run in the container architecture, but the container engine is a little bit different than others, such as the Docker engine or Podman engines. That's quite different. We use the signality. And also, Kubernetes can support the signality runtime engine on this platform. So overall, you can see HPC or service, they have a different type. They have different type to choose. So you can use one module, or you can combine more than one module. We, we don't want user to, come, uh, to worry about or concern about how to build a different type. Through the Gautis platform, you can access HPC as a services. Let's see the, the, the screen. You can, and we can build a portal so user can follow the, this wizard to submit their HPC job. And also, when they submit, they can know how much, how many job or from the user level or from the admin level. The other one would be, we can have an end-to-end -end monitor dashboard. Have the cloud platform admin, they can have dashboard to control all the running status in this platform to make sure everything is healthy or they have problem they can troubleshooting that to maintain all the platform running well. Okay, let's, we mentioned about the cloud platform. So they have 10 main functions. It's separate to uh, user side or admin perspective and others. The user side, they can use the, our workflow automation to rent or acquire their online resources. Also, how they use that, or how much usage they have, all collect on this platform. From the admin perspective, they are able to monitor the resources and make sure when it's best time to scale up this cluster size. To make sure they have always have good enough resources for the users for use. Also, they they can use how much the user 
resources like metering and also they can provide billing to internal or external user. The other, the rest of the function I will highlight here because right now everything is spread out the world. So one platform should be support more than one regions. And this platform we are going to have, they can recover well. So we provide scheduling backup to make sure this platform can do the self-healing to recover, reduce the downtime. And last one will be the organization type. We want all the tenant, they have a totally isolate. They can have a tenant, based on one tenant, they can control all the resources. And each one tenant, they don't need to, they don't need to acquire the resources from the others. Let's see this fourth floor is like automation self, self uh, search. We want everything, not only developer, we want the user, they can submit a job and can, they can get the resource quick and they don't need to wait. An operation guy, they can focus on troubleshooting or some fire somewhere. They don't need to wait. So nobody wait for someone. That will increase all the team productivity. And this diagram, I will highlight our platform is focused on services. Everything is services. You will see they have an infrastructure type, they have a high-end user type, they also they have a monitor type. This platform is going to make sure all these services running well and have good promise on this platform. Okay, let's uh, wrap up the section. Grossy platform is right for large scale environment and data intensive application. I hope you enjoy the session and thank you for your watching.